Fireworks. Mankind's coolest goddamn invention ever. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, but you cannot disagree with me. I mean, some guys took some powders, put them into shells, and then created giant fire flowers in the sky in different colors and shapes. Alright, I know it's a lot more fucking complicated than that, but come on, they're pretty cool, right? I know that liking fireworks is not some uncommon thing. And yes, there is a story behind why I'm just rambling on about fireworks for no apparent fucking reason. You see, I wanted to relive the story of the day that I was attacked by a semi-professional fireworks show. No, not by people or anything like that, but it turned out uh, the guy running this fireworks show was somewhat of an idiot. Or rather, not him, not the guy running the show, I guess I shouldn't say that. The people that decided to watch the show were the idiots. Let me paint the scene for you. So again, this story takes place... Six years ago? Seven? Something like that? I can't quite remember. It was when I was a lot younger, again, with some friends I've mentioned in stories from the past. This particular story took place in a town called Medical Lake in Washington. If you've never been there, that's perfectly fine. You don't need to worry about it. It's just a small town on a lake with a few thousand people and a mental hospital. So yeah, it was, uh, I don't think it was on 4th of July, excuse me. I don't believe it was actually on 4th of July the evening, but it was close to it. Um, people like to light off fireworks a couple days before, a couple days after. Why? Because fireworks are fun and we shouldn't only have one day out of the year to do it. That's why we do it on New Year's. That's why some people do it on Christmas. Hell, I heard people doing it after the election, so fucking have at it, folks. We need more firework time in this country. I really hope Mr. Trump decides to enact firework laws so that we can be launching off fireworks 24-7. Normally, if you want to watch a big, big fireworks show, all you gotta do is go downtown to a specific area because the city is actually putting on their own giant show. A big, professionally run show that does not involve setting off all of your fireworks like in San Diego a couple years ago. No, no, you see, I am not like regular people. I went to see a fireworks show that was run by just some regular average dude who spends about $20,000 a year on consumer-grade fireworks. You know, like Black Cat, TNT, Phantom, just the regular shit you can buy at fireworks stores in Wyoming and crap like that. He just stocks up throughout the year and plans his own show. It's actually a pretty cool idea. And he'd been doing it year after year for a very long time. Not exactly sure how long, but he was kind of legendary in the town. So, my friend and I and his family, I went with them. We arrive in the town and we go to a parking lot that is in a little shopping area, a little mini mall, strip mall kind of a thing. You've seen them, they're everywhere. So there are about 500 people sitting in this parking lot while this dude sets up. And you could see it right there, all of his shit's just laid out on the ground. A buttload of TNT fireworks, Black Cat, all that stupid crap. Ranging from bottle rockets to mortars. Although I don't think he had very many bottle rockets, it's supposed to be a show. <laughs> there aren't any restraints or any walls or fence lining around this thing whatsoever. It's up on a little stage, like a tiny little stage. And people are starting to get ready for the show because it's only a few minutes away. Now, as we all know, people like to get really, really close at any live event they're at, whether it's a performance or otherwise. However, for some strange reason, that carries over to firework displays. It's kind of like people don't like sitting right up front in the movie theater because you have to look up 800 degrees to see the screen and it kind of hurts your neck, you get a headache, that kind of shit. Same thing with fireworks, except you have to look up higher and it's not as comfortable. So for some strange reason, these people, myself included, all sit down maybe 15 feet away from where all the fireworks are sitting on the ground. The guy starts his show, and maybe four and a half seconds in, a couple of the fireworks misfire, as you would expect to happen in an amateur, prosumer, whatever the fuck you call it show. And everyone freaks the fuck out and backs up an extra 300 feet to where they were supposed to be in the first place. I, I have no idea what compels people to sit that close to explosive entertainment. I thought it was goddamn hilarious. Throughout the rest of the show, I was actually pelted by mortar tubes and whatnot. That part I did not like. But all in all, the show was pretty okay. It was pretty decent for just some random guy that buys fireworks and sets them off in a parking lot. I guess, let that be a lesson to everybody that goes to see a show like that. Sit the fuck back. It's what normal people do, or what normal people should do. 
And that's all she wrote, folks. I know that story was very short, very strange, kind of out of the blue, but I'm just having a rough time right now. Um, not necessarily election-related at all. It's just a rough time in general. I guess it's that time of year. And I thought, well, let me, let me lift my spirits by telling a dumb story from my past again. And that is all she wrote on that, folks. Always remember, if even someone enjoyed, consider liking. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And I'll be seeing you.